Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. All right, Lacey, we're getting a better look at exactly yes. the path that that tornado and uh, the group of tornadoes in Oklahoma took Monday. Yes, so Monday evening as those tornadoes touched down, the next morning at daylight, crews were down. The National Weather Service engineers surveying the damage, looking at the structural integrity of the buildings that were hit to give the official rating. The first tornado of the day, the one Val and Amy Castor were on in Love County that passed just to the east of Courtney, lift up to towards, towards Wilson, did cross State Highway 32, right? an EF zero. Then the storm that came in from Texas had the one fatality near Sherwood Shores um, on the south side of Lake Texoma, crossed Texoma and hit Buncombe Creek. That particular part of the tornado was rated an EF two. And then you get a little further north to Kingston, crossing the east sides of Kingston Highway 70. The tornado touched down and was on the ground for about 20 miles all the way up to Emmett and Milburn. Did hit Little City. You've seen the extensive damage from that. Jim Gardner of course flew that path yesterday that has been given a rating of an EF1. Sur crews are still surveying the damage to give those particular locations and we'll have more on that of course in the coming days. So we had that happen Monday. Yesterday the tornado outbreak occurred across portions of East Texas and Louisiana and Mississippi. A violent tornado touched down in the New Orleans metro area near the town of Araby in St. Bernard Parish and headed up towards Lake Pontchartrain. That tornado violent. Look at the video coming in from yesterday evening. This was about 7 p.m. and just wild viewer video being sent in to the stations there in Louisiana. This tornado was a monster and so many folks saw it and heard it and saw the power flashes. The damage left behind from this looks easily EF2, EF3, potentially higher. Crews will be surveying the damage from this, but it is devastating there in Araby just east of of New Orleans. All right, let's take it back to the maps. Let me show you as far as the reports go from yesterday. An additional 34 reports from north of Jackson, Mississippi, down to New Orleans, and then also in uh, in uh, Alabama, just south of Mobile. There also a couple of tornado reports. Now this morning, the severe weather is well to the east of Oklahoma. We've got quiet conditions for your Wednesday. There you can see the severe weather and the tornado watches that are out for the counties in green. Just a bit ago, about 30 minutes ago, there's a tornado warning just east of Destin, Florida. Snow along the Great Lakes with that system. And it's been a big time wind maker for Oklahoma. Yesterday morning, we had the blowing snow. Winds have backed off some while you were sleeping, but it is 40 degrees this morning. And our temperatures are 30s, 40s, but being factored and driven by this north to northwest wind that's gusting at times close to 30. It feels like the 20s and low 30s this morning. We'll have some sunshine for a while, which will be a nice change of pace. Yesterday was just a nasty, windy, raw, soggy day. We've dried things out. 50 degrees coming up for this afternoon. It'll still feel cooler because of that northwest wind. It will feel chilly. 30s up in the northeast, and we'll see some mid and upper 50s down around the Red River. There's the big storm system. You can see this big trough over the central portions of our country, and the area of low pressure is now over Missouri. Missouri. So we'll have another kind of last hurrah out of the system late this evening and tonight. Cloud cover thickens back up. We will have a chance to have a few sprinkles, a little light rain possible to the north and east. Not a major deal. The bigger thing, I think, will be the fact that we'll be so cold tomorrow morning. We will be the freezing conditions coming up for your Thursday morning. We'll see 29 in Clinton, 29 in Hobart, right at freezing here in Oklahoma City. And this is a cloud cover is pulling away. Skies will clear out and we will drop off tomorrow after Afternoon, your Thursday afternoon, 50s, 60s, and 70s, 70 degrees in Altus. It'll be much warmer versus the 50 up in Miami where you'll still have the cloud cover hanging on. Friday's the day, guys. You're looking for a sunny day. You're looking for the winds to back off and for things to be quiet once again. Friday's the day. 70s, mid-70s out west. It looks gorgeous. Saturday's even warmer. You got big weekend plans. 73, 81 on Sunday, 85 Monday. But we are watching a storm system bringing a chance for the potential for severe weather. Tuesday into Wednesday morning, we're watching for that. And it does turn cooler for a while next week. Back to you.